Okay, in this video we're going to talk about, now, now we've done a lot of simplifying so far, right? We're going to talk about how to simplify something that looks like this. So far we've done something like maybe cosine of, of pi over 2 minus x, right? We said, ah, oh, that's the other angle in the triangle, sine of one angle is equal to the cosine of the other angle. We've been doing that for a while. Here's a new one, though. What if we do theta minus 3 pi over 2? Well, if we want to do this, that's theta minus 270 degrees, by the way. <clears throat> how do we do a problem like this? We also know from previous examples that just shifts the graph, doesn't it? Doesn't that just shift it? Right? 3 pi over 2? So if we wanted to graph this, we know that it's going to look like maybe a different function. Let's find out what it's equal to. Well, the first thing I need to do in this case is I need to identify. I'm going to say that u is going to be the same thing as theta. And I'm going to say v is the same thing as 3 pi over 2. And apparently what I'm going to do is the cosine of u minus v. So I come over here and... Uh, <clears throat> look at my formula sheet, which of course needs to be memorized at some point in time, but for now we're practicing. The cosine of u minus v is cosine of u, that is to say it is cosine of theta, times the cosine of v, which is the cosine of 3 pi over 2. It's plus the sine of u, which is the sine of theta, times the sine of v, which is the sine of 3 pi over 2. So now I need, I need to just simplify this. And it doesn't look like much to you guys. You're probably sitting here sitting confused and going, why did I just do this? But the reason is, is because I can figure out what the cosine of 270 degrees and I can figure out what the sine of 270 degrees. In fact, if you do this on your calculator, you know that the x-coordinate of the unit circle is directly related to cosine. The x-coordinate here is 0. So this is the cosine of theta times 0 plus the sine of theta times, and the sine is directly related to the y-coordinate on the unit circle, that's a negative 1. So it turns out then this cosine theta thing goes away and I'm left with negative sine of theta. That is a simpler expression than the cosine of theta minus 3 pi over 2. Over here, tangent of theta plus 3 pi, same idea. Okay, We're going to identify then u as theta and v as 3 pi. So, once we do that, then we come over here to our formula sheet, which of course you need to have memorized at some point in time. Have I said that enough? Got that point across? We're doing tangent of u plus v, which means it's this formula. So, it looks like I'm going to start off by doing top formula here is going to be tangent u, which is tangent theta, plus the tangent of v, which is the tangent of 3 pi. That's all over 1 minus the tangent of u times the tangent of v, which is tangent theta times tangent 3 pi. So I need to now evaluate this, and maybe it helps. You know, if, if all else fails, I go and I make sure my calculator is in the radians mode, and I say tangent of 3 pi. I find out that that's 0. So it looks like anything with this tangent 3 pi is going to go away. That goes away, that's a 0. Tangent 3 pi down here, that goes away. And I end up with tangent theta over 1. Those are the only terms that are even left. This is the same thing as tangent theta. A much simpler expression, right? So as long as we know the sum and difference formulas now, anytime you see a plus or a minus, and you can do that for anything, anytime you see a plus or a minus in here, we can use the sum and difference formulas to go ahead and make that a simpler expression, which then, of course, you would want to use this whenever you're working a problem, wouldn't you?